morning on the flip side. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Many of you teenagers, you have got discerning parents, but you think they are prejudiced, and you think that they are just blinded by their religion or by their age or whatever the case may be. And every time a certain guy or a certain girl is at the house, your parents are uptight, on edge, they're on guard, they're grumpy, they don't like it, they keep telling you to stop hanging with that element, it's going to bring it, bring you down, and all you hear, all you want to say is, anyway, and you go tipping around doing what you're going to do. Well, do you know many have lost their lives doing that? God gives a parent who is seeking God, he gives them a second sight, and he enables them to feel uneasy. Now, I'm going to give you an example of my father. Years ago, in the 70s, when I was really glued, I wasn't just stuck on stupid, but I was glued to it. And this, I used to hang out with this guy that I didn't even like. But he was something. He was a piece of man just to fill up my dead time. And my father met him one time. And I said, uh, I introduced my father to him. And he went to reach his hand out. Hello, Mr. Love. And my father looked at him. And he said, look. The only reason I allow you in my house is because my silly daughter is stupid enough to hang out with the likes of you. I know what kind of person you are. And I tell you, I don't like you. So you don't have to try to butter me up with being polite. You don't even have to come around here anymore. But listen, my father told me he said, I was laughing under my breath because I didn't care about that guy. You know, I was just wasting time. My father pulled me aside and told me, that man, he, he is the kind of, a, of a, a nothing of a man that if you are dumb enough, he'll try to talk you into prostituting and he going to be a little would-be pimp. He said, that's the kind of fool he is. That's the kind of low life he is. Why are you even wasting your time with that? Well, it wasn't even a month. And he was trying to talk me and this girlfriend of mine, she and I used to hang out, and he knew her too. He was her friend. And he tried to talk the two of us into going to a nightclub to try to sell some booty so all three of us could make some money. And he'd be the lookout guy sitting in the van, probably asleep. I told my friend what my father told me, and we both had the biggest laugh. We said, yeah, let's go to the club. And we went in there, we shot pool all night long. Came out, he said, did you get any Johns? He said, oh, them guys are broke. No, nah, no, nah, we tried, but nah. <laughs> we didn't try to do a thing. But, see, it helps to have a discerning father. Because my father pulled his whole card before he even got to know his name good. He read him like a book, you guys. You pay attention to your parents. Now, if you guys have stubborn children, play this tape for them. Because I'm telling you, some of them will be raped, molested, beaten, and killed because they didn't listen to you. So any warning you find on YouTube, play it for them, please. God bless you.